Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to Goober Gear number 51. Bit of a bit of weird hiatus, actually. There was one week where we sort of went missing. Technically, Goober Gear number 50 was the, uh, the MOM tournament. So that was that was an interesting detour. It still is a detour, technically, considering I still playing the game. So it's <laughs> I, I am hooked, to say the least. It's very, very reminiscent of, um, what is it, Smash 4, the customs mode, where you could just pick whatever, you have different strengths, defense, and speed. Oh, the customization is so much fun. What a blast. So, starting off, we got ourselves Razor and Bagels. Razor coming back to goober gear after moving to chicago um seeing that he has stolen the the first place spot or the player one spot in order to play birthday train another another razor classic to say the least and uh yeah we're gonna have a very very classic match razor bagels Friday Eve. Wait. No. It would be a Saturday Eve, right? Because it's not. Because it is Saturday. Or wow. Because it is Friday. Something something vocabulary. I don't know. Oh god, he's mashing. Alright, Bagels, getting back in the groove. Gonna go for a cross up. Aw oh, dear. Doesn't block low, probably a BDC attempt. Crosswise, get the knockdown. Get that Oki. Oh, it doesn't backdash again. Wasn't able to punish the eat. Oh dear. Look at these footsies. Do we get something? Ooh, we get a 6P from Razor. Nicely done. Nice grab. Wow, 2D like that. A lot of things could have went wrong there. But it's paying off. Hmm. I wasn't able to get the full charge because it was a blue DP dashed forward, but the distance was far enough that Razor was safe. <laughs> Footsies. After the bite, just able to outspace all of Ranger ah, Razor's mashing. Nice. Ow. Another teleport grab. Gets crossed up. Gets hit low. Uh-oh, wasn't able to get the links down. It may sense a bit of a delay issue here. I may need another... Another tester for... For Goober Gear. Because I'm on fiber, so a lot of my connections, any rough patches kind of get smoothed out because of that kind of connection. Oh, hey, Vision. That was good. Here to see some Exerd. Well, assumedly. Everyone's here for Exerd. Alright, Bagel's thing in the first game. Very nice. Oh, God, they're switching. No, please. And now that Bagels has taken control of player one again, Razor is now relegated to no more birthday train. Been a while. Uh, yeah, I'm doing doing pretty nice for myself, you know. Fighting games are coming back up. Exerd coming back into the public eye once more. 
or we're working on it specifically in new york we got ourselves a, a nice local bringing it back besides tsp so it's like we got we're gonna get the double whammy around april as well oh i didn't get the crosswise just yet Ooh. razor able to sneak in an air dash oh wow safe safely jumps out of the burst but bdc oh <laughs> was waiting for the super ow that's not gonna work oh you could have comboed with a grab no the command throw well, i guess it wouldn't have comboed afterwards well there it is Ooh, IADs over the fireball. Classic Street Fighter. I say that as I inputted IAD as my uh, vocabulary there. It's Street Fighter. Wow, this is a very powerful match. We're gonna see it. Perfect. Nice trade. Oh, wow. Mashing. Dusting. Back dashing. Resetting. Oh dear. Well, that was uh, entirely burst safe. Boop, and you are gone. Good night. I'm trying to see. Uh... Oh, I guess you can IK and MOM. Yeah, because when you're fighting CPUs, if you do IK, it actually just insta-kills them. Oh, like, like the master key. Like, it'll just reduce their remaining health and you collect their rewards. Not like you catch them in the animation at all. Nice whiff punish on the pile bunker. Technically, a lot of the IKs are just lame because it's just one long animation instead of anything. Unlike Slayers, where you get a randomly generated haiku. No bias. Ooh, nice bite. Reset. Oh, no. Gonna get the combo extension. Yeah, that was gonna drop. But stun. Doesn't matter. I mean... Zados is kind of funny. He just bites the shadow and you're dead. Wow. Yeah, getting... Again, safe jumped on that burst. Ouch. Oh, baby. I don't think the Venom IK is that. I mean, it's it's kind of clever where he's like, oh, I'm going to land them in the seventh pocket. But then it just, it's just like the pocket just opens up and consumes.
Oh, whoops, sorry. I was doing some TOing stuff. I missed that score. I saw me. What, what are these 2Ds? I don't understand. Razor taking it. Over bagels. Nicely done. Bit of a scramble fest near the end for sure, but... Here we have it, ladies and gents. Now on to, uh the bigger fish to fry. Swiggin and Asha Toast. So Asha Toast took quite a chunk out of Swiggin near the beginning, but it seems Swiggin is activating footsies mode, if you will. I lied. Oh, we're gonna get a little extension off the RC. You trying to bait something? Oh, I tried to DP. At least I think so. And ratio. Oh. <laughs> Damn, now Ashitos is never going to, like, be slack with it at all. Just always going to get back turn K on Oki, no matter what. At least I would. I know Swiggin's a masher on that grab. Ooh, wasn't able to get that 6P in time, and Ashitos was able to get in for quite a bit. Oh, but these JDs worked the first time, but I don't think it's something to rely on. DPs, though. Yeah, see, he's just gonna keep grabbing. Ooh, forced to block high reduces DP charge to nothing. Oh, what a trade. Game one to Swiggin. Very nice. Uh, do you wait? Oh, yeah, I added you on stream for, uh, for next. Oh, I should say on deck. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh. DP. No! Oh. Tried to do something off of the, uh... Or, but the uh, S boom. A little too. Wow, you didn't go high and went low, but was <laughs> the sword was still active. Mash 2D. Here comes the back turn K. Another parry. Yep, you're just mashing throw. That makes sense. Ooh, a dirty cross up. That's gonna be punished unless you RC. 
all these IBs. Nope. Not letting any leeway through. So again, finally getting a firm hand on the Leo matchup. I lied. I'm so sorry. Nice bait. Gonna get a full conversion off of this. Are you gonna get go for the hard one? Yes, you will. Oh, but dropping the knockdown. Well, I guess you couldn't get a knockdown because the 6H wouldn't have. No, the 6H would have landed. You just wouldn't have gotten the QV afterwards. Q5, QV. Get mixed. Get blitzed. Oh, he jumps over the Venom Ball? This won't work. Yeah, I figured. Ay, ay, ay. Ow. Okay, come on, go in, you're Leo. You, you, you didn't have to I-80 back. Okay, you know what? I may have gotten ahead of myself. Oh, the bro punishing the DP. Oh, it was in. Nice backdash. One one. Ashatos scamming it out with full bar. No need to hold restraint. I feel like the um what Ashatos needs to do is really understand the RPS options out of out of their own mix-ups or not mix-ups like pressure I mean because there are there are times where what is it Swiggin starts I being the wreck of pressure and what Eshito should recognize is that you should be pressing 5p after wreck of one in order to bait out the, the throw attempt because that, that, that's a really good way to stop that from, from what I've seen. I know it's bad in some matchups like Eno's because Eno's 6H is like just as fast as a jab. So not the best idea. But I, I think against Venom, there's not much he can really do to get out of that situation. Burst, cold bursting in order to try and get out of some pressure. But this might be it for that game. Close slash OS is risky because you're trying to you're trying to do a cross up throw as they they flip behind you. So if they just do a five P, it's kind of hard to check because you might just FD and then they just reset their pressure. It it, it could work. It's just it's just very specific. It's like not gonna be as OSable as one might think. But good parry. Oh. Ouch. Yeah, and again, we see the IB and Eshatos not really autopiloting, but not really knowing the other option of 5P. Although, I'm not the Leo here. I've just, I've just done it in casual, so... I'm not saying don't do your lab work, just... <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Oh no, the anti ears. Good stuff to Swiggin, able to get past the uh, the Leo knowledge checks. But yeah, you know, knowledge checks. You gotta knowledge check them with Leia too. That's how you. That's how you get past the. Well, okay. I'm just saying the obvious now. That's how you get past the level one stuff. You you beat them with a level two. Wow, I'm, I'm so insightful, guys. I'm such a such a content creator. Once again, Razor has hijacked birthday train. Raven Venom. Okay, that that wouldn't have worked. Well, I guess if you're crouching. So much nuance. Wow. Oh, wow. 
I don't even think that would have worked if even if he didn't jump. Nice blocks. Oh, but he's plus. Oh. Damn, can Venom 6P actually beat Raven JD? This is a hard pressed question. Ow. Testers, I just mean like when you play someone. I just need more people to play like the out of range people out of the region lock. Because for me, my connection. I think might be too good. It's not like representative of how nor like other connections, the average connection would play. And so it, it really just gives a sort of, it gives everyone leeway into joining my, my racket. Maybe I need someone from like Canada to test it out. Ow. Again, attempting to 6P. Command throw. Normal throw. Whiff combo. Punish. Oh, wow, nice link. Dark Angel. Nice mix. The double carcass. Oh. Very, very nice. Carcass Razor, wrecking Razor. Nice throw. Uh oh. The pressure. It's unstoppable. Got a good start from Razor. Uh oh. He's not in for a second. This might prove to be fatal. And get wrecked. Look at all these balls. Ooh, tried to throw, but nothing. Nice catch. Mix up. Oh, he blocked. Okay, I lied. I lied part two. Nice punish. I oh, wasn't able to kill. Oh, did angle just a little, little too eagerly. Oh, there he goes. Lost to the ether. Nice 2-0 from Pizu, showing his stuff. And up next, we're going to have Give and Swiggin. That'll be one for the history books. Oh, man. All right, where does that put us now? We have... Esha Toast. Oh yeah, they should be playing now. 
Gun. Uh, probably I'm gonna get the loser of this match versus Bagels if Eshatos and Strobes haven't finished their losers match yet. Oh, look at these stellar IBs. Ow. Ooh, wasn't able to get that dandy in just yet. Oh, you can't dandy step against uh, Venom. That's gonna hurt a lot. Reset. Uh oh, you gotta use your meter. Yeah, no, I mean, no, that was expected. I feel like everyone here in the East Coast knew that that was gonna happen. What? 2K? Alright, Swiggin. Time for your stellar comeback. I lied. You let him out. It's over. I lied. He's in. Okay. What? Fair enough. Oh wow. Nice. Trade again. 6 PIAD combo. Oh wow. Ah, the H struggle. No punish. <laughs> How minus is H struggle to actually now I think about it. I feel like I've never seen anyone punish it. Air throw. Oh wow, what what was that? What's a catch back dash and a throw? Oh you got five you just five H. Finish your meal. You can't you can't let Swiggin just rob you now. You are going into hand now and then just Aw oh. This is how uh there's some folklore tale that I can bring up that that exemplifies this scenario I don't know got too greedy something like that slow and steady yeah that works 6h no we got the four ball oki a bit a bit scuffed but shouldn't be shouldn't be too much of a problem swigging okay might be in the blender right now nope backdash covers it who cares Wow Ooh. You're dead. Good night. Ain't no way he had the discipline to run it back. I just I just felt it, you know? Oh, you, you tried to bait the the throw attempt, but you did a forward dash. Wow, swinging is mashing. Make it burst safe. <laughs> Try to bait the burst super this early? Nah. I like um. I like that Swiggin is intentionally dropping his combos. This is because the combos are relatively unstable. And by intentionally dropping them, Swiggin it has a better shot at catching the reset. Oh wow. Oh dear. Swiggin was brave for mashing after 6k, after not IBing it. Wow, 
that was a long combo. What? 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 Punish. I cry. Someone please bring up the frame data for H Mad Struggle. I gotta know. Oh, nice trade. Catched. Ah. Finish your meal. And give does. Good stuff to give. Swiggin will have to fight it out in the losers. I'm gonna stay right there, Swiggin. I'm gonna need you and uh. I'm gonna need you and Bagels to fight. part of top six and after this match Razor and Eschatost will be next. I'll call them on deck. Alright, the classic Venom Slayer. Actually, there's already been a lot of this already, huh? Uh, the more I, like, watch this matchup, the more I I have, like, jamais vu about, like, just forgetting the matchup where you just... It's like repeating a word over and over again. You just lose meaning over it, and so I, eventually I just sort of lose, like, track of, you know, who wins, who loses. It's just very... It's just blending all into one matchup. It's less about like, oh, his tools are better, it's just, oh, there's this many RPS situations and this many RPS situations, and good luck, you know? Yeah, opting to dead angle those options, but not gonna pay off. Wow, that didn't chip him out, but you gotta... Okay, yeah, I figured. No Slayer will ever FD, I myself included. Ah, uh, see, look, there was <laughs> that was that little mini RPS situation on round start where, where the Slayer would dash and the Venom would try to throw it, but then sometimes the Slayer would do BDC pile bunker so that they would counter hit the five H. It's a, oh, a lot of fucked up RPS. Oh no! Oh yes. Oh wow, that JS came out super late, but still did its job. Yeah, JK wasn't a good extension after that. Ooh, baits the dead angle. You could kill. Oh, not anymore. I lied. No! What? I mean, honestly, I see nothing wrong with just jumping back like there's not much that Slayer can really do to catch it and anything they will do will probably be like punished oh god for some characters they can even just jump IED back and it will just probably cover everything oh no the J2K extending the hell oh, their body too far down Swiggin, about to knock out bagels. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. How does this keep working? Okay, well, that one was the more outrageous one, but at least I knew that one was happening.
Damn, let that ball set happen for free. Yeah, these balls, like, Swiggin's just letting ball set come out for free, and uh, Bagels has to do something about it. But, seems to me that the gauntlet is going to be completely in Swiggin's favor. Carcass raid, ball set, right? Like, you see a lot of this just... I mean, maybe on hit it's a bit safer. All right, good, good burst. Ooh, 6H hitting the 6P. Wasn't able to get that link on that counter hit for the 2K. Oh man, you gotta be risky. Those IEDs might have might have clapped you. All right, good knockdown. Good Oki. Gonna get an extension with this 5D. What's the reset? Oh man, these combos are just too unstable near the end. You might as well just get your knockdown. Because then this stuff will happen. Oh wow. Alright, yeah. So we can stop the FDing. Wanted to try something cheeky. But IB was necessary. Nice extension. Ooh, try to. Try to micro adjust. Carcass Raid Plus, Carcass Raid Plus. Damn, no escape. No escape part two. Oh, here it comes. Damn, just getting stuffed out. That combo might be unstable. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, you know, Slayer's a hard character, guys. Oh, God. 2-0 to Swiggin. Very, very nice. And that'll put Swiggin in the, uh... Wait, what is this now? Top four? Makes sense. Good enough for me. What do I know about putting players in their respective spots? All that's left is for a uh, razor to enter the ring. <laughs> we will have ourselves a nice match. We got ourselves a nice cult. You know, what what is it with the other uh stream what is it lobbies? Everyone's got like seven people spectating the match. Where where are these seven people, you know? I don't get it. It's mad stressful. I feel like everyone just says the Slayer matchup is mad stressful. But it's only mad stressful because it's just like there's extra RPS options. I feel like extra RPS options shouldn't make it stressful. It just is like... Uh, I don't know. You know, maybe may maybe you just gotta understand the matchup better. That's, that's just on me, bro. You know, I just have the ability to backdash. Like, imagine if that was just the game. Then everyone wouldn't panic, you know? And also you explode. Yeah, but if you don't hit anything, you don't explode. Like I, I feel like I feel like that's like the one thing about Slayer. Like he he can only get his damage off of like either the corner or counter hits. Well, even in the corner, it's still a bit specific. You know, it's it's there's a bit of nuance there, and I feel like it's not that hard to get hit. How does one reduce the stress? I mean. After after I being it's late, you can just sort of hold up. There's not much that Slayer can do at that moment. You can even FD it's late. And then at that distance, they can't really do much to catch you jumping up. Sure, they can use 6H, but if you super jump, it, it's 
it's not really likely that it's gonna hit. You have pressure to interact with 450 risk. I feel like Slayer can't build 50 risk without having to do a reset in pressure somewhere. And I feel like a, re a reset in pressure is is being greedy and stealing your turn, which is like which is like part of the the matchup of oh, you're not allowed to do that, right? And most of the time a lot of slayer pressure is negated just by pressing or just by holding up. Like, unless I do a meaty it's late or a meaty 2k, then you can't hold up. But if I do land those and you're holding up, you're not going to get counter hit and I'm just going to get a subpar combo into a knockdown again. Which, if you keep holding up, you can play that, like, I don't know, seven times before you actually croak. Which is a really good RPS in your favor because I can't get my damage in, you know? Uh, not enough backer because that that loses to, to burst super, I think. Just neutral upper. Well, actually, for Venom, you should just be a backdasher. Hold on. Like, like backdash is so good against Slayer that it's, it's, it's not even, it's not even like a fair matchup at that point. Like, mid-screen, the only way I could really beat backdash is I have to do the cross-up setup, which is not meaty by a long shot, and that just becomes like the mode like the natural mode of pressure i have to play um like what is it l felt milia johnny venom anyone with like a fat fast backdash like ram all of their pressure just or all of my pressure just sort of gets negated by a fast backdash just space good Actually, Kai's backdash is pretty decent against Slayer pressure as well. It is surprising how much backdash can get you out of pressure. Here comes the command grab. Everyone knew that was coming. <laughs> huh? Oh. Are you supposed to backdash far slash close slash? Well, even on IB, the gap is not that large. Like, you're probably going to get, like, a two-frame gap. It's, it's very fun to, to blitz it on IBs. Obviously, it's a commitment because I can just stop my pressure. Yeah, and, and that's not really hard to do because Slayer's IAD range is not huge. Like, it, it is very small, which makes it very good because it's, it's hard to react to. Um, but if you just stay out of it, it becomes very easy to react to. Yeah, the fact that, what is it, Leo's 2D is just throw in vuln is pretty funny. It's kind of weird, because in Strive it's considered airborne, so when you hit them you have to do an airborne combo. But in Exert it's just, it's grounded, it's just a throw in vuln move. It's also a, a low crush too. It's like everything but airborne. Oh, we're playing it back turn stance now. I respect it. You got these combos. You got the micro dash uh, Rekka 2. Ooh, wasn't able to DP that. Here it comes. Reset. Oh, you were FDing too much, my friend.
I don't know. Slayer's pressure can get really messed up when he has 50 meter. Um, which is why he still has something on the table. Because even though I say, like, all of his, you know, his reward off of guessing right is not that much without counter hit. With 50 meter, it still adds up. And his meter gain is ridiculously fast. Like, it's just... I, I know Moku complains about Slayer's meter gain a bit too much. So, we, we, we know. We know about meter gain. Good jump again. Parry. Aww. I learned Sin or Chip. You do Chip. Wait, no. Do Sin, because it's funny. That's true. And I feel like a lot of, uh... Well, it's the fact that his meter gain is so fast that I feel like the 50 meter is a bit more powerful here. Because, like, because everyone can do it, he can just do it faster because he gain Or, and more often, too, because he just, just needs to walk forward and he'll gain more meter than most of the cast. Or just whiff under pressures, which... What we know for a fact that Slayers like to do. Well, that's a lot of damage. Oh god, the conversions. We'll take them. Wow, he is stunned. Oops. Explain these options. Don't RPS with words. Oh. I mean, you mean like with 50 meter and stuff? Like, when he hits you with 2k, he'll just RC into 5d, and if he hits you with... I don't know. It's all false. I, I feel like it's a matter of perspective. I think we're both right. We just... We're, we're both... Oh my god, I hit. <laughs> I, I think we're both right. We're just downplaying each other's... Uh, struggles, you know, we're, we're both like invalidating each other we're, we're both gaslighting each other That that's the best way to put it nicely done for Esha Toast, the classic Razor Alt F4 it's gonna bring us into I'm gonna do winner's finals with Pizu and Give see that and then next we're gonna have uh losers fun no not yet loser semis with swigging and Escher toast so that'll that'll also be fun to watch yeah i don't know guys i just i just feel like i feel like you know the struggle is valid but man up Oh, oh! You you were asking about the sin chip thing. Uh, I don't know. Sin is sin is cooler. I, I I only say this because I know how to play sin a little bit. I don't know how to play chip, so I don't I don't know the the other perspective. So I'll just pick the one that I know. Yeah, blocking K Mappa is I mean it's good to IB it. That's the that's the real RPS. Block, you lose. IB, you win. Damn 
Razor. I mean, they're right. You know, Arc's just making the right decision now by not bringing up Slayer in, uh, in Strive. Yet. Yeah, that's right. I'm, I'm still on Copium. Oh yeah, not a lot of people are too comfortable with the burst points. They always like to burst on like my counter hits, which is more or less where most of my burst baits come from. And also if I have 50 meter, a lot of my burst points become burst safe. So it's, it's a lot of RPS there. Like any P-Pile combo just gets OS'd if I have 50 meter, because I just, I'm going to RC the P-Pile anyway, so if you burst there, I just win. He went on a bear's binge. He had fun with Strive Chip. That's why you're considering eggs or chip? Nah. I disagree. No, good punish on that 2H. Strive chip is crack. I feel like Strive chip is just like, has exert movement and everyone else doesn't, so he just wins most of the time. I say this from a Gold Lewis perspective, where the moment he just starts spamming backdash, I actually can't chase him. Like, he can actually camp me out, because his, his ability to cross up is pretty easy, and just, yeah, no, N not a fun matchup. But, hey, what happened? Fizu was doing amazing, just backdashing, and then, and the cookie crumpled. Wait, hold on. This is this is winners finals, my good sir. Nice swift punish. Oh wow, the S carcass didn't actually hit the dandy step. Didn't get the third hit on the close slash. Getting counter hit. Oh, where's the blitz extent? Oh, I guess that was more burst safe than most. Ouch. No, that's a punish. Never mind. What is going on? Oh dear. Part two? That was mixed. That was mixed. You know, Vision, I just can't relate, you know? I kind of don't like dying in one hit. Maybe this is where we divide. You know, maybe this is where my bias is showing. Yeah, that's right. Picks in. With bias. I will say my opinion is subjectively correct. I don't know if that even makes sense. I don't even think it's possibly subjectively wrong. Okay, well, you don't have 50 meter, give. Alright, give. This is a... Throwing for content question mark. You tried to IK. Now you have no meter. Take the full extent of Pizu chipping you out. Unless he wins. Oh, you're, you're being impatient. Okay, too impatient. You know, funnily enough, uh... <laughs> this this is where my I got my reality check about Exert being 2 out of 3 I, well because you know Strive being like 3 out of 5 I was like bro if, if Strive is 3 out of 5 Exert's 3 out of 5 and me being the Slayer main I'm like oh yeah matches take, take no more than like 50 to 40 seconds per and then I realized oh wait yeah I forgot about like you know Venom Mirrors Dizzy Chip Milia, you know, matches that take like a bajillion years. Jacko, for example. Yeah, 
Oh, uh, yeah, who, who could forget about Vedman? No, 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 my bad, I actually forgot about Vedman. <laughs> I, I feel give. I feel like this is not a sustainable. You know what? Prove me wrong. Why? Every time I bring it up. It's gonna. It's gonna bring give into the winners finals. All right. Oh wow. Give into the winners finals. It's all a blur. I'm forgetting all my names. All right, Swiggin and Ash at host. Get in there. Do I gotta at you fellas? I guess so. Good luck. Have fun. That is the classic BM phrase. When you're about to to play someone and you fist bump and you just say, Good luck, have fun. Those golden words. You're in their head. I think they played already, right? They did, and Swiggin beat Eshatos to 2-1. So yeah, what, what do you guys think? You think you think Exer's a 2 out of 3 game? I, I'm still in the ballpark of 3 out of 5. You know what, I'm actually pretty confident that people will not complain about having a 3 to 5 matches with Slayer exclusively. Like, I feel like everyone would have a... <laughs> everyone would universally agree, yeah, I'll play 3 out of 5 against Slayer. Yeah, but some Vortex characters just take forever. That, like, 2 out of 3 is justifiably enough. Like Milia, right? You could get mixed, like, 5 times and you could still live. Slayer, you, you can't even get mixed, like, 3 times and you'll be dead. Yeah, I feel like a lot of Vortex characters are low damage. Like, um... We got, like, Chip, Milia... It's only really like, well, that's what I'm saying, you know. Like, I, I I do agree that some matches are two out of three, but I I, I still think that some matchups should be three out of five. <laughs> Mostly our new matchup with Slayer. I mean, I'm not complaining if I can rob someone in a bracket, but nice reflect. Oh, uh, whoa! I didn't think that actually punished, but hey. Nice nice one for Esha. Esha toast. What would you categorize as like a high character? High damage character? Yeah, no, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have the highest characters. Game's defensive systems. You know, people don't be using defensive systems, especially high damage characters. Damn. Actually, I think about it. Does Exit have the better defensive options than, like, CF. I mean, CF doesn't 
I actually have too many defensive options. They still have dead angle. Actually, I don't. I don't know. I know their burst is like really, really good, but losing their burst is like really, really bad. There is overdrive, which is basically just get out of jail free card. Um, I don't know. I feel like what is it? I mean, there still is I being in CF. But you could basically... Well, okay, I lied. Because you build OD really, really fast. I was about to say, like, oh, but you can only use it once because it's, like, you know, it takes... It's from your burst gauge. But then I realized, oh, active flow. The moment you hear the commentator say that, you are, you are having a good time. Oh, no. Gonna play God like Esha Toast. Okay, well that 6P is coming in like a motherfucker. That is also true. You know, <laughs> in the context of Blaze Blue, defense means jack shit to some characters. Like, CF is, I've heard, a pretty OS heavy game, but. But, like, if you're fighting Asriel, he doesn't really give a shit about OSs, he'll just. Press an overhead and you'll cry about it. But man, I, I just keep thinking like how good burst is. Uh, it's, I mean, like in the moment, you know. Because I'll be trying to bait it, and it's, it's nigh impossible to bait a CF burst. It's possible for sure, it's just... Oh my god. Jump cancelling at the right moment. You gotta be basically frame perfect. But if they burst, I mean, it's kind of a mini victory even if you don't block it. I would just like to block it, you know? It's not about the money, Spider-Man. Oh, you caught him? Nah. Ain't happening. Ain't no way. Oh, it's four frames? Jesus Christ. I had no idea. I thought it was I thought it was good. I didn't think it was that good. Burst super? Yeah, just normal. Oh, you're doing it twice. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. What bro? Alright, you know what? I ain't complaining. Yeah, it almost looks like I don't even know what, what I can compare it to. It, it's just it's just weird but swiggin will move on to the bracket while we were talking about cf oops that's on me pizu swaggin what, what, are, what are some good like commentator uh quips you know like you know like those things they say in like well, I mean, like, heaven or hell, you know, like, exactly like that. But I, I gotta say it before that, but not exactly like that, you know? Like, this is gonna be a slobber knocker of a match, or... This this is going in the history books. I use that one too much, you know? I gotta, I gotta find some fresh material. How was my sin experience? I don't know, I just... I, I just knew my combos. Like, all of my conversions. And then I just, uh... Mashed Beak Driver until I got a conversion. I don't know. A lot of, a lot of the people I played when I was playing sin just... Got opened up by, uh... JD mix-ups a lot, so... I definitely learned my beak driver loops in the corner. Those are fun. Or the air beak driver loops. Not not to be confused with the actual beak driver loops, which are mad kuso. Nice throw. Damn, all these venoms just to fight one slayer at the top. Hate to see it. Wow, 
mad struggle to go. Oh, the mix. Hit him with a two-part combo. The yoinky and the sploinky. You can burst the yoinky, but the sploinky is burst safe. You just have to react to the yoinky. Damn, plus frames. Venom, Venom mains don't even know their own pressure. What can I say? Dust him. All right, now you got you got orbs to set. Damn, I was thinking Melty Blood. This ain't Ciroa. Punish. What? That was S. But you never go for S. Mad struggle. It's always H. Oh. The most cracked grab known to man. TK'd so low his foot was in the ground. Oh, what? He got grabbed. Oh, no, no. Wow, Q5 doing God's work. Jump canceling. Most slayers. Well, I feel like they know their pressure. They just don't know how to beat their pressure. I feel like a lot of slayers' pressure could just be solved with IB, BDC bite, call it a day. Oh, try to blitz Venom. That never works. What is the most boring mirror to watch? I don't know. Probably like Jacko. You just watch two goons going at it at each other. Maybe Bedman, where they're trying to just set up their seals and it's just a cat and mouse of destroying their seals together. Uh, it's definitely not Slayer mirrors. It's definitely not Jam mirrors. What about Johnny? Nah. Oddly enough, maybe Elf felt. Chimeras? No, Chimeras are not... Well, okay, they're boring in the sense that it's like you're watching Street Fighter 1. Uh, but it's like, I don't think it's the most boring, you know? They're, they're obviously lamer ways to... It's lame, I just think there's lamer. Dizzy mirrors? Nah, they, they go ham. They're just air dashing into each other. I feel like any character with two air dashes immediately, like, try not to play lame. Even though air dash back, air dash in is, like, super lame. Maybe Raven? I feel like Raven is, is pretty lame. Because they both just can't IAD into each other until one of them gets a knockdown. And until then, it's just... Camp Fest. Oh god, the burst. I don't even think Venom mirrors are, are that lame because it's just <laughs> sometimes it's just the slug fest with a like a fireball war almost. This match is lame, bro. They're getting mixed. Well, yeah, I mean, their damage output is nothing, but I feel like there's been a lot of counter hits in this match, you know? 
They're they're mashing for sure. Swiggin gonna take well got two O up and Pizu's last last quest to take the game A game even if you will dare I say <laughs> that that's that might be true. I feel like with some characters or some colors, it's pretty apparent which is which. For Venom Mirrors, or, or yeah, it's painful for for newcomers. For Slayer Mirrors, it's painful for commentators. For uh, I don't know. Well, what what matchup is painful for the players? I guess Johnny, because they both have to out-execute each other. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> Backdash 5k. Surely you jested. You're telling me all of Johnny... Gameplay could be wrapped up into a backdash 5k. Well, you're blocking. God damn, Swiggin. What the hell? <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. Does Johnny even have a kill combo at max, uh, max risk? Like a touch of death? No calorie sin. Isn't that just like a no special move sin? Or does he actually go for special moves and just takes the recovery? Q5 neutralize bro? That's a question that I gotta ask. Oh wait, but the two Venom Vades are <laughs> a little preoccupied now, shit. Oh, he caught him with the IED, but... Oh wow, they they got the super flash kill because the bro did the final hit. <laughs> Nicely done, Swiggin, squashing Pizu to meet Give in the grand finals. Who would have thought? Not me. All right, let's let's bring this in. After that, maybe I'll stream my MOM struggles against boss character Kai. Ow. 
I wish I had a translator when I went to Mikado. God damn. Uh oh. Who can stop the non-stop pressure? Uh oh, a bit too early on that ball. He caught the back dash. Oh my. Yoink. Well, you do have a full stick of butter. What will you do? Oh, you're dead. No, you gotta, you gotta, oh my god. You had to end the combo. He, he was gonna burst. First super was right there. God damn, the mesh. What the hell is happening? It was his chance. Why why would any slayer deny themselves the joy of burst super? Ow. Nice burst bait. Like I said, if you just hold up, Slayer can't really do much. Damn, you got mixed. Oops. Oh, let's go swing in. Let's go give. That was Mix. He ducked under the Mappa. Damn, the BDC. The counter hit. If this was MOM, you would have been stunned already. Actually, wait. Does Venom have a uh, 2k? Wait, no. The Slayer have a 2k combo off of Venom in the corner. I'm going to check my uh, my Slayer docks right real quick. Mid-set. You know, they, they'll never know. Yeah, ever since I got this uh, new monitor, I've been, uh, been able to look at the side screen and pay attention to the match. That's right. Oh, there is a combo. Nice. Oh, but off a of K, Dandy. You hate to see it. And Slayer doesn't have a combo on his self. You hate to see it. Knockdown. First super cross up. Okay, never mind. Ah, oh, he had he had that. He had that. All right, just what five H. He could have mashed out. I will never understand. It's just the way the cookie crumbles at this stage of life, you know? Oh god, 6p mash, and you're cooked. Yeah, that orb was uh, not fun to watch out for. Nice. Uh-oh. Heh, 
You mashed super. Nice air throw. Wow, the mix. All right, yeah. You, you, no, no more bullshit. Swiggin's just gonna mash. Fuzzy a bar rate, if you will. Has Swiggin finally adapted? It's like that that scene in Metal Gear Revengeance where where the senator is like, "Am I finally getting through?" Oh, and just when Swiggin was about to shake his hand, Give just throws him across the field. Damn, this really is their Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Oh, you gotta FD that, my friend. This set point about to be lit. Okay, never mind. Give. You're mashing! Wow. Excellent 6P. Yeah, but Swiggin trying to just dance around. You know, just doing the, the little porter stuff. Uh-oh, wasn't able to get the close slash. Here it comes. Yeah, got too greedy with that ball set. First? Ooh, backdash. I forgot. Yeah, I would have gotten hit. That's that's on me too. Dark Angel, baby. Swiggin. Stealing. Swaggin'. Command. Oh, no. Nope. I expected bite. Oh, yeah. Punish the H match struggle. We're in there. Wowie. Oh. Can he be stopped? All right, I guess he can. I guess he can't. Oh, this 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 might prove to be a sour exchange. Damn, I just I just saw some outings in the uh, in in my own Twitch chat. Eggs are Iron Man. Damn, Eno Boy is reduced to just a clone of Ray the Warrior. Ooh, good combo. Can you block give? He's blocking. He even BDC'd. Okay. Well, it was a fun ride while it happened.
Ah, daily reminder to drink water. I guess it's a weekly reminder because they only like stream once a week anyway, so would have guessed. Hey, like I, they, there it was, bread. The, the burst point it was right there. You had the confirm. No, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Swiggin about to make his comeback. The reset. Oh, okay. Well, no, that's not gonna work. You are a, you are but a fool. You are but too eager. I think technically, if you uh, I think it is possible. You just have to do it faster. But nonetheless, good stuff to give for even trying to disrespect Swiggin. But it wasn't cool because it didn't land. Sorry to say. That's just how the, ri the ribs grow on the tree. Wow, I had no analogy there. But without further ado, it is time for Thug Finals. Maybe on the MOM we'll have a Thug Finals. Yeah. Uh-oh, I got counter hit. Oh, what a devious little creature. Up to some mischief, not very good. Don't do this to me, I beg of you. Ain't no way I'm gonna get, what, reversed on. Ouch. Ouch. Ah, eh, shut up. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, Gif. <laughs> All right, GG's Give. Didn't mean to be that rough about it. But I've been I've been analyzing too hard. GG's. Congrats to uh to give for you'll pay for this one day. I I will in MOM mode. You you will see. He he will show me. Well, I can immediately pay for it, but <laughs> okay. I, I guess that's that quote is going in the book's vision. You you, you can't stop that. You know what? I'll, I'll pay for my sins right here. All right, Kai beat me up. Yeah, the M O M Thug Finals. <laughs> This is my thug finals, where, where this Kai comes destroys me. I think I got him in the ropes, though. Yeah, this, this guy's free. Yeah, air throw. Okay, that DP did a little too much damage. Alright, 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 calm down. Yeah, that's right, get counter hit. We're gonna reset you. 
Jeez, relax. Relax! Relax! Jesus Christ, I'm stunned already! Ah! Oh my god. Alright. GG's Kai. You really, really showed me with that EX Sacred Edge. You know, I just... Man, you know, I, I got outplayed. You know, I, I could have played my cards right, but, you know, that's... Ooh, that's how the cookie crumbles. God damn. I, 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 I talk shit about... What is it? Boss Kai, but... There's Boss Soul. But I will save that for another stream. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this this is my incentive for for convincing people into joining MOM. Maybe they want to see the boss soul. Uh, let's let's find a good exerter. Who even exerts nowadays? Was I the only exert stream? Thirty seven viewers. Oh, there have they switched? Let's let's send it to Portuguese. Any, anyone here rec understand Portuguese? Uh, I'll just I'll just send it to any exerter. I got to do the left right double checking every time. Vera, Vlada, uh, Amarello. Intended for mature audiences. It's Exert, bro. Farewell, guys. Good stream. I got some MOM to grind. Peace.